Hi, this is Darren Drew, D. Drew Guitars. Today I'm going to show you how to get the frets prepped to install on a celluloid fretboard. This is a Greg Rich Gordon King custom banjo being assembled. First thing you're going to want to do, this is going to be many parts also. <laughs> It's a time-consuming process. You gotta be super careful, especially when with the hand-painted scenes. First thing you want to do is this is a little fret slot cleaning tool. Looks like a little saw. You want to clean out all these little all the slots very carefully. Make sure that they're nice and clean. Really carefully, especially with the hand-painted scenes. I've already done that on this neck. So First thing you want to do is get your fret wire. This is Jaskar fret wire. It comes in a straight length of two feet. It will probably be uh, three, three, four, three, three feet and plus a little bit more to do this entire fretboard. So what first thing you want to do is just mark your length. You just want a little bit sticking out on each end. So I'll cut right here. And then you have these handy little pliers. You can see this has binding on the edges. So what you have to do, you have your fret like this. So what you want to do is nip the tang off so that it will fit just inside the binding. You also want to start out at, at this part of the fretboard because it's the widest and you will go narrower. If you cut this too small, then you can always put it farther up the line. Um, so you always want to start out at the big end. And these little nippers, they uh, really come in handy. They just go like this. And you can see how it nips off the very inside of the tang right there. So then what you would do is match this up to here. See how much you need to cut off. And you want your tang just right up next to your binding. Match it up, see how it's going to fit. Okay, that's still too long. So, nip it some more. This is a slow, tedious process, but it's necessary when the, the frets or the binding is already on the fretboard or on the neck. So then I'll just leave it right there and I'll continue on and do all of the rest of them exactly the same. I'll show you one more time. Just, uh, mark this, cut it a touch long so that your ends are sticking out like this because then you have more control when you're going to glue it on, glue the frets in. Get your fret, your little nippers, tang nippers. See how much you want to trim off. Match it up. That looks really good. You want to try to get your tang as close to the inside edge of the binding as possible. Uh, that way it's being glued as much as possible, holding in, so your ends won't come loose through time. So then that's the first step. What you want to do, getting your frets ready to be glued in on a banjo <laughs> celluloid fretboard. Thank you very much. Uh, there will be more coming. Bye.